happiness is... What is happiness? It's making me sad. I don't know what happiness is. Hmm. Ask what most people want in life, and the answer is simple. To be happy. It's as if all roads lead to that five-letter word. What does being happy really mean? Did you know that there's a Google engineer who created an algorithm based on a mathematical formula to determine how to be happy? It's called the algorithm to happiness. In his book, Solve for Happy, he says that happiness is equal to or greater than the way you view the events in your life minus your expectations about how life should behave. It means if you perceive the events in your life as equal to or greater than your expectations, you're happy. Or at least you're not unhappy. Happiness seems to be a simple feeling, but it looks like something that's hard to achieve. And we're all intrigued how to unlock that feeling. Aren't we? There's a famous Harvard grant study that followed 268 male Harvard undergraduates and looked into all their aspects. Relationships, politics, religion, even coping strategies and alcohol use. The study started in 1938 and took 75 years before they got to a simple and profound conclusion. Relationships are the only things that matter in life. According to this study, one way to find out if we're happy is to look at our relationships. Let's take a look at these factors and call it Delamar's Happiness Pie. The first slice in this happiness pie is this pure and beautiful thing called friendship. An ex-boyfriend had once hung out with me and my friends. So we were in Batangas and we were eating ensalada de ga with our bare hands while teasing each other about the funny things we did before. And he was looking at us. So when we got home, he said, you know, it's amazing what you guys do. So I go, what do we do? You just like to make each other laugh. Friends are your family of choice. You're not related to each other, but you're together because you like each other's company. Work is life, as they say. But more than your passion for the job or career advancement, of course, one important factor is your relationship with your coworkers. And that includes your boss. According to an online article by Pete Liebman in American Management Association, the first most important relationship you have in your career is with yourself. The second most important is with your boss. A Gallup study in 2015 surveyed 7,200 people about work-manager relationships, and 50% of them said that they left their job to get away from their boss. There's something about being with family that makes you feel warm and safe. Your connection is irreplaceable. You're connected by blood. Here are tips to maintain a good relationship with your family. Spend time together. Apart from regular family dinners, why not go out every Sunday or travel together once in a while? Look for opportunities to connect with each member. Know the interests of each family member and talk about it with them. Listen actively to each other. Let them know that their feelings matter and they're important to everyone. Handle your conflicts fairly. Give everyone the opportunity to talk and explain, and then start from there. We all search for that special someone. Why is that? Apparently, being in a relationship contributes to the happiness for most Filipinos. Crew Life UK recently launched Asia's first relationship index and found out that Filipinos' relationship satisfaction score is 79%, the second highest in Asia. Perhaps the most important slice of that pie is the relationship with yourself. 
As we strive to find happiness in other people, never forget that finding it in yourself is where it all starts. A good relationship with yourself is a sign of a healthy mind. To maintain a good relationship with yourself, here are our four humble suggestions. Number one, know yourself. What are you good at? What are you bad at? And if you can do that, then you can do point number two, be fair to yourself. If you're going to berate yourself for the bad, can you also praise yourself for the good? Point number three, forgive yourself for the things you've done wrong. If the guilt is weighing you down, why not tell yourself, I made a mistake, I'll do better. Lastly, at number four, distance yourself from toxic relationships. Learn to ask the question, is this person good for me? If not, learn to let them go. Defining what happy is and achieving it is easier said than done. But much like the real pie where each slice completes the circle, each relationship we have, whether it's with family, with friends, with work, with partner, with ourselves, all contribute in making us whole. If you don't like the pie you have, why not start making the one you like? Get the right ingredients, mix them well until you get that feeling that feels good in your chest. And maybe that's the happiness you've always wanted to have. And there's comfort in knowing that you created it. Why don't you make me happy and click the love button and join me in the after show FB live chat happening right after this video. This has been Delamar giving it to you straight up.